guys, welcome back to another episode of Atlantis Kitchen. I'm super excited, we're back yet again with a sweet food this time. Today, we'll be making, drum roll please. I'm super excited for this. I've never had one before in my life. Like, I didn't even hear of it. It kind of sounds kind of strange to me, but I'm willing to trust the process. So I also just want to give a massive shout out to Anya B for sending me this apple cider donut mix. So this is a baked version and she also sent me a recipe for a deep fried version. She said, Dear New Zealand family, when I saw the video of you reacting to iconic foods, I was so excited to see that New Hampshire's food was the apple cider donut. Thank you so much, Anya. This has been a real help for this. And now we get to try two different types of donuts. So we get to try the baked version and the deep fried version. So I think I'm just gonna start by making this mix and then I'll set it aside and make the other mix. And then while I'm deep frying the donuts, I'll put this in the oven so they're both hot at the same time. So let's get started with this one. So we'll open the box. Ooh, I see the cinnamon sugar mixed for around the edges. And then I see the filling or the batter. So the first instruction is to grease and flour or spray a donut pan and preheat the oven to 400 Fahrenheit. Okay, also since she sent me the recipe and there's no recipe link for the website, I will just type this out in the description, so just follow along from the description recipe. And I also just want to give a huge thank you to you guys for 2,000 followers on my Instagram. So if you haven't already, make sure you go follow me. All right, so I got all my ingredients and I also greased my donut pan, so we'll just set that aside. So next the recipe tells me we need to add in half a cup of milk, a third a cup of melted butter, and a whole egg, along with our donut mix. Okay, so now we need to add in all of our mix into the bowl. And squeeze that out. This actually smells like apple cider vinegar, like the mixture smells like apple cider vinegar. Okay, so we'll just kind of stir that together. Honestly, I'm so excited. Do you know I've only ever made homemade donuts once and that was when, at our old house, when we, when I was like six, we made these little like tuck shop donuts and we put like jam and cream in them and we went and gave them around to all the neighbors. And that's like the only time that I've ever made donuts. So, and that was with mum's help. So this is my first time making donuts like by myself. So, I failed. What happened was, I made the I made the donuts, and Anya, who I appreciate so much, sent me this recipe. And as I was making it, in my mind, I saw apple cider vinegar, but she put apple cider. In my mind, it was this, but in reality, it was this. So. No wonder mom didn't like it. Mm. Whoa. Mm. Uh, she was like, I feel like this is an acquired taste. Why do I feel like this is a bit of an acquired taste? And so we were all like, she doesn't like it. And we all thought it was a bit, you know, strange. But it wasn't bad. Like, it wasn't disgusting. It was still good. But we just thought it was a little strange that you put this in a donut. Yeah, I now like, it's almost sour. Mm, it's just got a tang to it. Yeah. So we still gave it a good score though, because we actually did like it. Eight. Seven. Six. Nine. Even Dad liked it. Dad was like, oh, I like this. It's kind of reminding me of like a lemon and sugar pancake. For me, it's good. It's different. It's not like overpowering or anything. Before we start, we are still going to keep the footage that I filmed from making the box that Anya sent us and also the filming of us trying us because we do have it all on film. So, you can see that, but if we cut back 
to me wearing different clothes or all of us wearing different clothes, it's because we're using different footage from a different day of when I thought everything went well. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, we have our apple cider and our bottle opener, which I don't know how to use. Watch me struggle. This probably isn't even a bottle opener. Oh wait, because I'm supposed to do this. I think. <laughs> we got it open. So now we need to pour in three cups. One. Okay, hopefully this one goes a little better. Firmly hold it. Okay, I think I'm getting better. Right. Two. Three. So we've got our three cups of apple cider here. Basically, we just need to heat it in a small saucepan over a high heat. Bringing it to a boil, reduce the heat and simmer, stirring occasionally until reduced to one cup, about 15 to 20 minutes. So I will see you when we have reduced three cups to one cup. Let's get reducing. While our apple cider, apple cider is reducing, we're gonna make our cinnamon and sugar mix. So mix one cup of just regular sugar and a tablespoon of cinnamon. Okay, my apple cider is down to about like a cup and a half. So I'm just gonna make the dry ingredients of my filling. So we need to add three and a half cups of all-purpose flour, two thirds of a cup of lightly packed brown sugar, um, a one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon and a teaspoon of nutmeg, and two teaspoons of baking soda, no, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a teaspoon of kosher salt. So, got my giant spoon. It's a mixy mix. So our apple cider has finished reducing. So now we're gonna put one cup of reduced apple cider, um, six tablespoons of melted butter, and two lightly beaten eggs. And we're just gonna stir this together. And then we're going to pour this mixture right here over our dry ingredients and then we're just gonna combine it and then we're gonna put the we're gonna put the mixture in the fridge for an hour to chill yum this smells a lot better than reducing apple cider vinegar it smells sweet like when i first put it in it had a bit of like an alcoholy smell but now it just smells like legit just apple it smells now we're gonna put this in the fridge for an hour just to chill so it's easier to get into donuts and mold. And the texture is way different to when I used apple cider vinegar. Like this is a lot more like softer. So we're gonna put it in the fridge and I'll see you when it's time for the shaping. Okay, so let's measure two cups of oil for our cast iron skillet. All right, let's put the oil in our pot. So we've got my oil in here. Now it's time to put it over a medium high heat until it reaches 325 Fahrenheit or 190 Celsius 0.556, I think it was. I don't actually have a cooking thermometer, so we're just gonna trust this. So I've lightly floured my surface. Now the recipe says divide the dough in half. So we're just gonna, I guess, cut it in half, so. I'll just get it nice and floured so that it's not sticky. All right. 
divide the dough in half. So it's in half. Now we need to work it on a lightly floured surface, roll the dough into half inch thick rounds, cut out the rounds with a two and a half inch cutter. So I actually don't have a cutter. Okay, so this is supposed to yield 12. So I'm just gonna cut this into threes and then put that in half again. So we get 12. And since I don't have a cutter, I thought I might improvise. Okay, so I've got a little pile of flour here. I'm just gonna flour one of these and get it nice and coated. And then I'm gonna roll one into a sausage and kind of wrap it round here. And I'm just gonna get a good mold shape so that I can just put my donut straight in there. Because I actually don't have one of those proper cutter that you use. So this is my closest thing to using one of the cutters. So I thought I'd just use that as a mold and we'll get a pretty good reference. See, it's a little donut. Okay, so I floured my donut pan. Now I'm just gonna pipe it in. This, this piping bag's so full. Okay, so I'm just gonna pipe it in about halfway full. So just go like round twice. So one, two. Okay, so I added my donuts in and it says to work in batches and add donuts to the Dutch oven and cook until evenly golden and crispy. One minute per side, transfer to a paper towel lined plate for 30 seconds, then roll the warm donuts and cinnamon sugar to coat and serve warm. This sounds so good. Okay, my donuts are out of the oven. I'm super excited to try them. They look so good. So let's just take them off and then we'll coat them with butter and sugar. So I'll just go get my butter. Okay, so it's time to coat them. So we're just gonna brush each side with a little bit of butter. And then we'll put our packet of cinnamon and sugar in the bowl. So now it's time to coat this with our cinnamon sugar. So just put it in and like wiggle it around just to get enough coverage so that it looks like that. These look so good. Okay guys, it's time to try it. I'm super excited. So we've got our fried donut and we've got our baked donut. So we're gonna call the others in. It's time to try it, guys. Okay, come um, on. Ooh. Oh, wow. So this is the fried homemade one and this is the baked box one. Two donuts. Oh my no, goodness. Not just one. You can scoff down two of these. So, so these are rolled kind of by hand yeah. and those ones are in the donut tray. Yeah, they, they were a big hole, but when you fry them, they kind of expand, so the hole kind of closes up a little uh, bit. Oh, yeah. No, mine's really still, got, still got one. Yeah, they yeah. do. So. Maybe we should do the homemade one first. Homemade. Okay. Homemade. Okay. Here we right. go. Okay. It's got some weight to it. It does. Okay. It's hefty. Let's try it. Ready? Smash, Smash it. it. Smash, Smash it. it. Smash, Smash it. it. Smash it. Mm. So you did that extra bang, just a lot yep. of sugar from it. Well, no, that's more like it. Wow. I got sugar on my lips. Okay. That's more like it. No vinegar. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, that's good. That is really good. Yum. Wow. It's like a little apple cake muffin mm. donut thing. Yeah. And the cinnamon with the apple. Apple cake muffin donut thing. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> yeah. That tastes a little bit more like the boxer version that we were eating. Mm. Yep. Doesn't it? Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's that would, so yummy. That to me that would go well with like some really nice sort of drink. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I was being so kind to the previous one. <laughs> I was like, it's got a really nice tang to it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I, I kept thinking, this is the most unusual one that we've tried yeah. yet. It's a flavor that I'm not used to. You were even like, I feel like this is the first time my taste buds have gone on a real journey. Yeah. I feel like this is the first time my taste buds have gone on a real journey. Yeah. yeah. I didn't actually mind it. It wasn't that bad to me. No, I was I, just like, oh well. I didn't love it. That's why I gave it a six. Yeah. Um, it's time for fun facts, but since we already recorded that when we uh, did it with the apple cider vinegar, let's switch <laughs> over to that now. Yeah. In, in between donuts. Okay. Let's do fun fact time. Okay. For New Hampshire. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we know it's New Hampshire. I made that mistake in a previous video. All right. In 1775, New Hampshire became the first state to declare its independence from England. Wow. Wow. That's cool. Mm -hmm. The first American in space, Alan Shepard, was born in Derry, New Hampshire. Wow. Mm. 
The state was named by Captain John Mason after a Hampshire county in England. New Hampshire is called the Granite State because of its numerous granite quarries. The nickname may also reflect the state's attachment to a tradition and its history of a frugal government. Hmm. So, as much as this is an acquired taste, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. I can't stop eating it. I know. <laughs> exactly. See, it's, it's so growing on me. It's it, it, It's really bringing out the apple taste to me. To me, it's like, out of the apple cider vinegar. Do you know what? It's because I could smell the apple cider vinegar so strong. Yeah. I'd already made up my mind that I was like, far out. That's going to be It's going to be an odd donut. It's going to be intense. But weirdly, I can't stop eating it. It's more. Mm. Um, about 1.39 million people live in New Hampshire. Oh, it's quite small. Yeah, yeah, so it's about the size of our largest city, Auckland, in okay. New Zealand. Okay. And from what, from what uh, the internet can find, apparently... The apple cider donut entered the mainstream in the early 1950s thanks to the Donut Corporation of America. Not much is known about the DCA other than that it was founded in the 1920s by Adolf Levitt, an enterprising Russian immigrant. Oh, okay. So, not, a lot not as know. old as I thought it would be. This, <laughs> this seems like one of those things that would be a really old, old recipe, like hundreds of years old. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. Now, oh, so right, whoa, whoa I nearly jumped the gun then. Oh, I had, okay. a, I had it in my pieces. mouth. Yeah, okay, mine's okay, in pieces. Here we go. Okay. Smash it, smash it. Smash it. it. Whoa. Oh. Mmm. Lighter. Much lighter. Much more, lighter. More of a vanilla scent. Mmm. It's a lot more fluffy. I think you can Whoa. expect that though when you make homemade donuts. Because usually you can't get the oil oh, to wow. be so perfect. <laughs> the, much less apple cider vinegar. It's crumbly. It's like a crumbly sort of softer, lighter thing. Whereas this is mm. like like a bready donut. Mmm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. That's I think so I might, good. I might, this might be growing on me a lot. I can get behind this one. I feel like this one's real heavy on the cider. It reminds me of a cake almost. Vanilla cupcake. Yeah. It's kind of like a vanilla cupcake. When I smell this, my nose gets a little tingle because it's so <laughs> strong. <laughs> I feel like this is the first time my taste buds have gone on a real journey. We need to do a new rating. Yes. Okay. Who's ready to rate it? Yeah. Okay. 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 Let's rate it. Okay. Three, two, one. Eight. 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 Nine. Oh, nine. Nine. Eight. Okay. Nine. Plus six is 30 plus three, 33. Thank you Atlanta for that journey. You took, she took hours in the kitchen. Again. Um, show us some love. She spends so long making these videos. Yeah. yeah. Like and she gets day. so stressed out about them and she wants them to be perfect. So yeah. go ahead and show us some love. She's on Instagram now. Yeah. yeah Pop so, on over and check her out. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching the video where I made New Hampshire State Food Apple Cider Donuts. That was seven down, 43 more to go. Whoa. I mean, I've done a lot, but <laughs> definitely not as much as what has to come. Yes. But I'm excited. I'm up for their challenge. Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.